Hey guys, my name's Gabe, and this is a video on the adjustments and tweaks that you can make on the DeLonghi Magnifica Evo so that you can make the best coffee. I'll be showing you how to improve the aroma of your coffee, tweak the temperature, make your coffee stronger, adjust the water quantity, and adjust the milk quantity. But before anything else, I wanna say thanks for checking out my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd be eternally grateful. And okay, let's get to it. With a Magnifica Evo, you can adjust the aroma of your coffee. Personally, I like to have a cup that has an aroma that will engulf the place. So I go for a stronger aroma. This is where you can change the aroma of your coffee. Just press any of the three coffee beans. The smallest one is mild, the biggest one is strong, and of course, the middle one is medium. Just press on the one you like and that's it. Now you can also adjust how hot your coffee will be. This is a really good function because I can be too eager to drink my coffee at times. These lips have had their fair share of burns. Okay, to adjust the temperature, press this button for five seconds. You will then notice that these buttons have lit up. So these four buttons right here correspond to a kind of adjustment that you want to make. The first one is the temperature, so you press that one. Now you can adjust the temperature by using the aroma buttons, this being the lowest temperature, medium, and the highest temperature. Now, for example, you want to go for highest temperature, you press the big bean, the third one. Now, if you want to keep that selection, you have to press the temperature button again. And that's it. And now you've finished adjusting the temperature. Now, keep in mind, when you make your selection, you have to be quick because the panels will reset after a short period of time. Now, adjusting the coffee grounds will impact how strong your coffee will be. Making the machine grind the coffee more intensely will lead to finer grains, which in turn will lead to a stronger coffee. And by stronger, I mean more caffeinated. Coffee that has more of a kick. But it also leads to having more of a bitter taste. On the other hand, making the machine grind the coffee more loosely will produce larger grains. And as a result, your drink will then be less bitter, but it won't be as strong. It won't be as caffeinated. So to adjust, you open the lid where you pour the coffee bins in and you adjust this knob right here. To make the coffee stronger, turn the mill, which is initially set at five, as you can see here. You turn the knob counterclockwise towards there. So basically the rule of thumb is the smaller the number, the finer the grains and vice versa. Now, very important, don't ever turn the knob while the machine is idle. I don't know how DeLong he designed it, but you're only supposed to turn the knob, adjust the grinder while you're actually in the process of making a coffee. So you make coffee as you would normally, put a cup under the spout, make your selection, and when you start to hear the machine do its magic, that's when you turn the knob. Now bear in mind two things. You'll only notice the difference after you've made at least two cups of coffee. And second, Finer grains make the machine pour your coffee slower. It may even not pour at all. But don't panic when it does though. You just have to readjust the knob to a higher number. Again, while the machine is making a coffee, not when it's idle. Got it? Good. If you want to adjust the water content of a particular drink, here's what you should do. For example, we want to make basic coffee. Press the button of the drink you want to adjust until the light blinks faster. Then once it starts pouring, pay attention to your cup. Wait for the water to reach the level that you desire, then press that button again. I think that's good. Then the machine will stop pouring. 
and it will memorize the water quantity. So the next time you make that drink, it'll pour in the same amount of water. Now, if you want to adjust the milk content of a particular drink, you do the same thing, but only this time, you do it twice. Once for the water component, and another for the milk component. For example, if you want to adjust the milk content of your cappuccino, which currently has this amount of water, and this amount of milk, you hold press the cappuccino button until it blinks faster, and then you wait for the water to reach at your preferred level, let's say a little higher from the old one, a little more water, then you press that button again. Now basically, you've already set your water level, and after this, it'll start pouring the milk. So you pay attention to your cup again while the milk is pouring. Then press the button one more time when the cup, re cup reaches your desired level. Okay, I think that's good. Now the machine has memorized your drink. So now let's make another cappuccino and see if it did save the settings. Water's good. Milk, good. And that's how you adjust the milk and water level. And that's how you personalize your drinks. I can honestly say these features make a huge difference. It might take a bit of tweaking here and there, but with a little bit of patience, you'll get to a point where you'll make the perfect cup every time. It's worth it. Well, at least to me it is. Fun, to be honest. What about you? What do you think? Do you have some tips or tricks to make better coffee with the Magnifica Evo? Or was there something I missed? Please let me know in the comments below. I would really love your input. Um, once again, thank you for watching my video. I really hope it helped. You can also check out my other video on how to maintain the Magnifica Evo. You might find something helpful there. And please, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.